Welcome back, Instagram, to the Whack Pack, where Rip rips open another pack of trading cards every day. What's up? Uh, yeah, welcome uh, back to the Whack Pack. Uh, Rip's going to rip open another pack of trading cards today. Uh, and as always, uh, for this month, the month of May, Mental Health Awareness Month, uh, we are raising money for Stronger Than Stigma, uh, an incredible uh, organization dedicated to smashing and bashing and uh, eliminating the stigma around mental health. <clears throat> um, we are, uh, we've already raised $100. We're currently at our next uh, $75. And at every $100, keeping a running total here, I will chew the old gum found in these packs of trading cards. Done it once. <clears throat> it was awful, but it was worth it. Uh, so for today, we're going to go ahead and open, I think this is like the last pack of baseball cards that I have. Uh, it's one of the packs that we started with here. Uh, we got, uh, the 1989 Tops Major League Baseball cards, where you can win a trip to 1990 spring training. 15 bubblegum cards, one stick of bubblegum. No... That does not mean that the bu the cards are also bubblegum. <clears throat> so yeah, let's, uh, and then I got some more packages today, so we'll go ahead and uh, kind of, again, peek into the future of what is in store in the weeks and months for the Whack Pack. Opening this up here, let me get this on in the frame. This is, this is like the most beat up pack I've seen so far. And of course, oh, stuck. Stuck here to the card. So, you know, I'll get to have that lovely experience and I'll go ahead and deposit this gum here into our little gum Tupperware. Um. Gross. Cool. So let's see what we got. Uh, let's start with the, the card that the gum was stuck to, huh? That is a fun name. <clears throat> a pitcher for the New York Yankees. This is just a good, solid baseball name. Rick Roden. Rick Roden. Rick Roden. Uh, yeah, he had some, like, league leads uh, for some things. That was fine. Uh, oh, here we go. This is a fun one. Tope, how's it going, buddy? Here we have the batting and pitching stats for the Chicago, the 1988 Chicago Cubs. Uh, so that's fun. Uh, team leaders and whatnot. Uh, here's a pitcher. Uh, I don't know, man. This could be a generic name, or the name could actually ring a bell for what they did as a pitcher uh, for the New York Mets. Randy Myers. Randy Myers, primarily an outfielder in high school. Randy concentrated on pitching at Clark Vancouver Community College, where he hurled no hitter with 14 strikeouts. Oh, so we got a uh, Vancouver, Washington, as it were. Up next, uh, we got here John Split the Red Sea Moses. Yep, he, he has nothing interesting that they wanted to let you know about that fella. What did he play for? The Twins, the Minnesota Twins. Oh, here's a fun one. A turn back the clock card for the Mets, Dwight Gooden, pitcher. And it's got a whole bunch of copy on the back that I will only read the first line of. The spectacular start of the Tigers captured early headlines with 35 wins in first 40 games, including a Jack Morris no-hitter on first Saturday of the campaign, which has nothing to do with Doc Good, but I'm going to put that over there in the check it out later. <clears throat> For your Cubs, second baseman, third baseman, utility player, Manny Trillo. Trillo, Manny. A long career going back to the early 70s. Oh boy, I know this guy. Number one draft pick. Well, this is a rookie card. Uh, coming from Michigan to the California Angels, we got here Jim Abbott. Jim Abbott. At the University of Michigan in 1988, Jim was named 
Big Ten Player of the Year while earning selection to Big Ten All-Tournament Team and All-Conference First Team. This is, this is dope. I'm going to keep this one over here. Uh, another sweepstakes card. Again, all right, let me flip these over. So we start with the back here. Pitcher for the uh, yo Oakland A's, Dave Otto. Devato, Demi Devato. He was signed for athletics by scout Dick Bogart. Catcher here for your Montreal Expos. Man, what a fucking clean ass uniform that is. Mike Fitzgerald, his first Major League Grand Slam, June 17th, 1987. A day he'll never forget. Uh, we go. Yeah, here another pitcher here for the Pirates, Scott Medvin. Scott Medvin. Uh, he was a 1979 graduate of North Olmsted High School, earning honors in baseball and basketball. Can you earn honors in baseball and basketball? Like, also, how do they know so much about their freaking high school life? Uh, here we go. Cubs outfielder Doug Dis Doug Desenzo. Desenzo. Doug Desenzo. Yeah, Doug was a 1985 New York Penn League All Star. Tope, any of these uh, any of these cards doing it for you, man? Such as Phillies pitcher Brad Moore. Brad Moore. So. Born Brad was a, was signed as an undrafted free agent of the Phillies June 25th, 1986 by scout Carlos Cueva. We're getting down to like their scouts, man. That's like some real just uh, tell me more. I need to fill up two lines. Tell me more. All right, here we go. Uh, not Annie Hall, but Albert Hall, outfielder for your Atlanta A or Atlanta Braves, Atlanta A's Braves. When Albert hit for the cycle versus... Oh, that's exciting. He hit for the cycle. Against the Astros on September 23rd, 1987, he became... Uh, <clears throat> he became the franchise first player to achieve the feat since Bill Collins, October 6th, 1910. At this point, I want a scout pack opening. Man, that'd be great. Yeah, just fill me up with a, a pack full of, of Major League scouts. I remember sophomore year of high school, our high school's team was like particularly good and there would regularly be major league scouts at the games and like they don't hesitate to like wear you know the full-on like if their team won a, a world series no, that's a that's a wedding the finger if their team won the world series to wear that damn ring not knowing they were scouting in hollywood florida and any one of these motherfucking kids such as myself you know would have made a run at it it was, it was um they were naive. Let's just put it that way. Uh, here we got manager card. Well, close. Top of we're close. We're getting closer. Here's a manager card for the Phillies. Nick Leva. Leva. Uh, and on the back of that, no stats, no nothing, just the checklist for his team. So he could use this, you know, before games, I guess. And then finally, pitcher for the New York Yankees, Steve Shields. Steve Shields. Steve's favorite spectator sports are college basketball and drag racing. So he doesn't, he doesn't even give a shit about baseball as his own sport. Oh, my God. Look at what the gum did to this wax paper. I'm going to put that in my mouth at $25 more uh, because it's Mental Health Awareness Month and we're raising money for Stronger Than Sigma. And at every $100, I'm chewing this nasty, no good, low down, dirty, Trading card gum. So yeah, so I'm gonna put that in here. Uh, let's go ahead and just announce this tomorrow. Tomorrow, Tope, we got a special surprise. Uh, gonna be busting open a blaster pack. I think that's what it's called. And opening up a pair of cards with you on the feed, Tope. I'm excited to have you. It's been too long. Kyra, welcome to the whack pack. And I think you've left already. Um, oh, you're still there. I saw one person drop off. Um, but yeah, so that was this pack of baseball cards. Uh, very excited, Tope. Uh, if you want to change, I'm going to open up and see what we have in today. And if you want to call an audible, by all means, let's do it. 
Um, I will support that. Uh, but yeah, let's just go ahead and open these up. This is well taped. Um, I'm, I think I know what this is. It's probably another collector set. Um, so I don't know how the fuck I'm gonna open this. Jesus Christ. Uh, there's like hair all up in the tape. They probably have a dog, benefit of the doubt. Come on, baby. Um, I keep tempting fate by using this knife to open these packs. Uh, you will no doubt be witness to uh, a very painful episode one day. So these are cool. Uh, limited edition, silver anniversary, commemorative set, 160 Super Bowl cards, uh, which is uh, cool. But it's, again, it's one of those whole sets. I have uh, an actual, for the same Super Bowl, 25, uh, a beer mirror, a Miller Lite beer mirror, um, which is pretty cool. This one was in Tampa. Uh, it's just kind of a soft spot, a soft spot uh, in my heart for this. Because uh, also, growing up, I got damaged at my uh, apartment in Gainesville, which sucks. But I also had this really cool thing uh, with like every Super Bowl ticket um, uh, displayed on it, which was super dope and it was my dad he gave it to me and then it got damaged because the other my next door neighbors flooded their apartment if it wasn't out in the world right now i would tomorrow you're here yes you are um all right so let's put this down next up uh next up is a hookup um uh paid for some of this but uh they told me that they threw a little something extra extra in there uh from the fine folks at two sweet antiques uh, I'll show that little logo sticker here in a second. Let me just get this open. Um, you can find them on Facebook and Instagram at Two Sweet Antiques. There they are right there. So shout. Uh, looking forward to opening these up. Here's uh, here's what I oh yeah cool and we got a little some little business cards as well. Uh, go check them out. They got a lot of really cool stuff. And on Facebook uh, they'll just pop on with a little uh, uh, bah, 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 auction every once in a while. So here's, here's what I purchased. A box, factory sealed box of WCW NWO superstars. Right here on the box, featuring the likes of Sting, Wolfpack Sting. Uh, you got Goldberg there, Hollywood Hulk Hogan, and Kevin Nash. Uh, very excited. This is our first set of Panini uh, cards uh, from 1998. How many packs are in here? 108 photo cards. Doesn't say how many packs, uh, but again, that's going to be exciting. Cass, hey, Cass, welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm just uh, breaking out some stuff that we're going to be getting into uh, in the next days, weeks, and months here on the WAC Pack. Um, we also have some more WCW cards, probably the same that I got uh, yesterday. And another pack of these. Oh, this is different, actually. Uh, these have been popping up a lot more lately. Uh, WWF Wrestling, uh, featuring WrestleMania 3. Nine picture cards, one sticker, one stick of bubble gum. The bubble gum, of course. For every $100 we raise for Stronger Than Stigma, I will be eating or chewing it. Not eating it. Chewing it. Um, live on the stream. Anything else? So, yeah. Thanks uh, to Sweet Antiques for the goodies. This here, not cards. Uh, this is just straight up from Target. Um, but fun pieces I haven't seen out in the, the wild. One of which uh, is completing a set that my good friend Christopher James Mullet started. Uh, these are some modern day Migos figures. And this one right here uh, completes my set of Cheers. Migos figures. Mullet got me Norm. I recently acquired Cliff. And here we have Woody. Oh, that lovable Woody. The bubble's coming off a little bit, but it's not for the value. This is a personal, this is a personal get. Very excited for this guy. Um, yeah. Who hasn't wanted a Woody Harrelson action figure? Gotta love it. And then the second one. This is, I really like this. Comes with more than I thought it would. Let me just crack this bag open here. Come on. 
Oh, don't damage it. Don't damage it. Don't they damage it. This in here, throw this aside. Oh, this is very, very, very cool. 14 point articulation. Limited edition action figure. This is uh, 3,071 of 10,000. And Andre the Giant, Migo. I like that a lot. Uh, this is unlicensed by the WWE because uh, there's no logo there. Um, but I'm very excited. Uh, I just recently got my collector's cases, so I'm, this will be a nice, proud addition. Uh, and lastly, I got this little gimmick here. I believe this is uh, maybe also sent uh, via Stand the Drive, from Stand the Drive Bear, Bear via uh, eBay. Uh, he sent all sorts of goodies recently. Where did my little mail opener guy go? There it is. Okay. So, um, yeah, this will be a surprise for all of us. A pack. Tope, uh, are you still there? You are. Excellent. Um, I don't know how many people you can have on these things, but if I can get you and Mullet on to open these 2006 Razor Poker cards. Um, gonna have to do that. Look for autographed cards of your favorite players. Oh my God. This is excellent. Uh, so like I said, man, if you wanna switch it up, we can switch it up or we can save these for a rainy day. Uh, there's, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was not expecting this either. Stand the drive bear, you madman. Very excited. I have like a nice little stash I'm collecting of like rainy days. Rainy day cards. Um, great. Well, this is uh, yet another very exciting edition here of the Whack Pack. Where every day Rip rips open another pack of trading cards. So go ahead and set your notifications uh, for whenever I go live. Because I don't know when these are going on. It's usually in the afternoon. Sarah Jean, I am just signing off, but thanks for tuning in. Um, I was just saying, turn on those live notifications. I, I, you know, every day I'm doing this. It's usually around this time in the afternoon, but you never really know uh, where I open up another pack of trading cards. These are the inaugural editions I just saw. Oh my goodness gracious. Um, <clears throat> Callie, you're here too. Holy hell. Well then, uh, yeah, y'all missed out on this 1989 pack of tops. Major League Baseball cards collected some more gum that at every $100 for Stronger Than Stigma that we raise, it being Mental Health Awareness Month and all, I'm chewing the gum. I've already done it once and I'll do it again. I know how horrible it is. And we're only $25 away from me doing it again. So again, set those notifications for whenever I go live. Uh, Tope is going to be on the stream tomorrow uh, from New York and it's going to be great. Uh, we're just keeping on rolling every damn day. We're not missing a single one. So thank you very much uh, for tuning in. Or if you're watching this on IG Live or IGTV, as it were, thank you very much. Um, yeah, uh, stay safe. Stay sane. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. Have a good one, y'all. Bye.